Will, remember one time we once uh, did an ill-advised project where we drove cross-country in an RV with oh, no Oh, very plan. much. Riley at the time was just a guy who used to come every month to the UCB Gethard show. I did not really know him. And because he had come every month to the Gethard show, we asked him to just drive around the country in an RV with us on no notice. What? He did it, for yeah. weeks. And he did it. And then... Became a star, he, kind of. He kept saying he wanted to do this character Vacation Jason. And Shannon had seen him do it and was like, no, it sucks. It's fucking awful. You can't do it. What's up, y'all? It's your man, Vacation Jason. And I'm back with a new mixtape. We eventually were staying at someone's house. And then at this person's house, you were like, okay. I'll let you audition the bit just right now. Like you totally put him on the spot for fun. And Riley like runs to another room and gets into his vacation and Jason outfit, which he weirdly had ready. <laughs> <laughs> and then he like comes out of the room as vacation Jason. Is that who I think it is? All right. I do not believe he had any idea of what to do as this character. I think he just liked the name, I think. And he started like doing his bit and it was so charming and we all laughed at the end of it you were like i gotta let you do that that was great right didn't he like win you over with that audition am i remembering that right yeah i said let's start doing that on the shows man and then oh my god oh the texas show do you remember that yes it was one of the most amazing things i've ever seen we had the the trip did not go well we were all in a bad mood everybody was in a bad mood. it was like true infighting going on Seriously, no. Let me walk on my own. No, no seriously, I'm, I'm hurting. What are you doing? You... Like, yeah, like actual, vibe. actual, actual thought that we actual low point of the trip. It the seemed trip. like we were not going to be friends anymore, and people were going to start yes. flying home. This sh day that's been riddled with tension, and this show that's feeling it. Riley comes out, and there's probably, if I'm remembering right, at least a couple hundred people there. Somebody say vacation. Jason. Maybe like I remember being a big house. Maybe something like three or four hundred people there. Riley comes out and starts doing his vacation Jason shtick. This crowd went nuts, unironically, to a degree that I can only compare to like the Beatles is too easy. That's the too easy comparison. It wasn't quite that. It was more like if you were at a pro wrestling event and the lights came on and The Rock was standing in the middle yeah. of the ring and it hadn't been announced he was returning and people were just like it was akin what? to that. It was it was an instinctive guttural reaction. Because we had all done some bits and they'd gone over like okay to good. Riley comes out and it was like they had found what they wanted. What? <laughs> Center. <laughs> so so early in his set they were exploding to the point where he ran out of material they started demanding an encore like a, That's what, yes. like, like an actual music show and we got off stage and they kept chanting vacation jason and it was like we're all watching like this guy but he's keep in mind in two, this was 10 years ago riley was a very green he's a performer baby. he's a kid they <laughs> called this motherfucker out for an encore we're backstage he's going i don't have anything else like there's nothing else to do the <laughs> third time i've done this character i don't have anything else i'm like get out there get out there he goes out there then he did something <laughs> weird and then he got off stage again they started screaming again for a second encore <laughs> Throwing half full tall boys onto the stage. Like, I'm not gonna say like a riot danger. They weren't they were not gonna leave until he came out. Like, I remember thinking, oh, this is what a real star is like. We are all frauds. <laughs> and this is what it's like when a crowd actually wants to see something. This is genuinely hard to believe. I believe you both fully. But we, like, in the moment, it's like, is this happening? <laughs> They want a, a second encore, and it's a larger fucking melee of activity than the first one. He comes back, uh, and Will, you remember what he did for his second encore? I think, well, maybe you, you, something you remember better than me. I thought he said, do you want to hear my favorite Inspector Deck verses from the Wu-Tang Clan? And they went ape shit, and then he rapped his three favorite <laughs> Inspector Deck <laughs> Not one of the most commonly cited Wu-Tang members. Because he's a huge Wu-Tang fan. 
now he's like literally a rock star, like <laughs> rapping, and they're like this, and I'm like, we're never, we're gonna be trapped here forever because they're gonna murder us if we take Riley Solider away from them. I've seen a lot of cool shit, and there's other stories I have of like unexpected things, but that that is one where I go. I will never see that again. I will never see that fun. happen again. It kind of was... healed us too, because we needed like a good thing for us just to get along. We kind of bonded over it. Oh, I wish there was footage of that. There is.